Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. I think the time is around 4.30. Again, as usual, I can't sleep. I'm thinking about you. And uh, since I can't sleep, the television is on, and you know we got perhaps thousands of uh, television stations. Many of them are talk, uh, radio, uh, that's been translated into cable, and here we are on this social media outlet. And if you think about what they're saying, they're talking about the problems of today. Over, they'll be doing it all day. What's going on with the Supreme Court, what's going on in Texas with the abortions, they will be talking about the economy. They will be talking about a lack of uh, of access that the Democrats were talking about in building America better. And they will be talking about Minchin. I believe that's his name and his position to seem to be president of the United States in making a decision that whatever the Democrats are trying to do won't be done because this dictator has made up its mind. Or his mind. And ladies and gentlemen, I wonder, do you understand what's going on? You know, as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, it is my duty, it is my responsibility to observe what is going on. And I'm not observing it with the perspective of just what I encounter with every day. I have a, a guiding light that's drawing me toward a particular end. And that particular end is to give truth to the American people, give truth to whomever could hear the truth as much as it has been given to me. There's a lot of clarity that has been given to me that perhaps I never had before. And I'm sure that you still don't have because you're still going through the same changes that you've always been going through. And now we are at a point where it's getting worse and worse. But what the mission is about, ladies and gentlemen, is to be able to expose that. And, and exposing it is also to share with you, you know, the better things. You know, we talk about this uh, polit political stuff. I want you to think, ladies and gentlemen, you heard, if you live in America, you heard somewhere that there was a heavenly host and they were angels. And that there was an angel amongst them who went rogue. I think they gave him a name of Lucifer or something like that. And they might even told you all of the reasons why Lucifer was pushed on up to that particular spot. But you got a little information about what happened. And uh, I want you to remember that even though some of you don't believe in God, some of you don't believe anything about the stories that have been given, and I'm not going to try to make you, because some of it is quite unbelievable. <clears throat> Nevertheless, here we have a situation, whether it's a story or not, where you have an expression of something that's taking place. What is actually taking place? Now, considering what we know today, and we look back at yesterday, you know, they might call this uh, Monday uh, coaching, what they call it, I don't even know that thing. It's about calling the game after it's over. <laughs> but anyway, what we have there is angels. And an angel decided to do something else. So we understand that angels like we got choice. We got choice, ladies and gentlemen. And what is that choice? That choice is to do what we is required of us in order to live. Now, to do that means we have to be aware of the Creator's plan. We have to know what the Creator is doing. And it's really simple. It's a natural thing. It, it, it is not a complicated matter. To know what the Creator is doing is a natural function. It's natural. It's natural. That's when it's in that order, when we are following after the Creator's way, the Creator's choice. But there is another choice, and that is our choice. Our choice. Our choice doesn't know truly where we're going, truly. 
But we want to decide where we're going to go. We're going to decide where we're going to take us. Sometimes you got groups of people who want to decide for us, for the human race. Sometimes you got uh, one person who wants to decide. Who, who, in other words, what we're actually happening, what we're actually having, ladies and gentlemen, at every interval is a situation where you have man, mankind, making a decision that they want to go a different way than God's way. That's what it's all about. When we look at what is happening in America, you got Republicans and Democrats collectively. Now, we, must, we might say that the, the Democrats are evil or the Republicans are evil, but collectively, they are representations of man's dreams and aspirations and desire. This is man's choice. What we have in America is man's choice being implemented. It is man's choice as opposed to God's choice. Man's choice have brought us to the point we have Donald Trump. We have the lies that have been told him told. We have people who were bought into those lies. We got people that are spreading those lies. We got people who are using those lies to try to make sure they can get in. That's man. Even with the Democrats talking about uh, build back better, bring back better, whatever you're talking about, it's just part of something. Together, it peeps and it denies God's plan. Sometime in America, it switches from Republican to Democrat, Democrat to Republican. All is just a, a, an action of man's, man's choice. See, listen, all of you, listen, <clears throat> that's man's choice. I don't want you to forget that. You see, when God, listen, when God made the earth, God made the earth to do what the earth does. When God made mankind, he made mankind to live naturally as wonderful as the world is. But he gave man a choice so man don't have to. In other words, you do your thing if you don't think I'm God. You be God. So a lot of times we put emphasis on Satan or the devil or Lucifer. But the way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, and the easiest way for us to understand it is to put it so we can see it. Tell it like it is. You know, they got a thing now in them where they're talking about uh, teaching something about race. The uh, white people are saying, don't teach our kids. what We don't want our kids to know what we did to the natives. So we don't, because it makes us look bad. It makes white folks look bad. We don't know how it might affect our kids. So keep that stuff from them. And I understand that. Don't tell our kids that we oppress blacks, beat them like slaves, uh, spit them up, beat them up. All. Don't let our kids know that white people are like that. Don't, well, just don't tell them. Well, they say if you don't tell people stuff, they usually repeat it again. But, you know, they got their reason for not wanting people to know it. And I understand that. And, you know, the thing about it is this. You can't fix it until you admit it. You can't fix it until you admit it. And you're not going to be ready to admit it as long as you're doing your thing. As long as you're doing man's thing. As long as you plan on keeping on doing what the decisions that man kind of made. What you're actually doing is saying, God might have made this earth and might have prepared that everybody on it, especially every American, will never suffer for food because I've made it possible for food to be available to them. Not only will the earth respond to the action that they take, but they will take the action because it is required. And there are those amongst them who knows the best action to take because I've designed it that way. And there would be no reason for anybody to suffer. A lack of food. Now, God's plan is that nobody would suffer food for food in America. No one would suffer for lack of clothing and shelter, housing. Not one single soul would suffer because a lack of food, clothing, and shelter in America or on earth, according to God's plan. But man has a plan, and man's plan doesn't care. And the people follow man's plan. <clears throat> you might not think it. But we follow man's plan. We here in America look at people who follow Donald Trump and we think that they are out of their mind. You know you do. You think they're out of your, their mind, but they think that you're out of yours for not following them. So it's an even, even. But then when you look at it, all of the country, all of the people on earth follow man's plan. 
as opposed to following God's plan. The church doesn't teach you to follow God's plan. The church talks about God's plan, talks about what happened in a certain period of time in relationship to God's plan. They talk about it. And every day they walk according to man's plan. Every day they walk according to man's plan, but they talk about God. My message, ladies and gentlemen, is to tell you this. The reason you're going through the hell that you're going through is because you're walking according to the plans of man. Man can't take you but one place. Where? To hell. Why? Because he knows nothing about what's going on. Only God knows what's going on. Only God's plan will lead you to life. And anything that man is leading you to is going to mess you up. I got evidence. I got the evidence is the existence of mankind. The existence, the total existence of mankind. Lying, cheating, and stealing, and killing. Terror, racism, hatred, and bigotry. Terror and war. All of this about man. For what? For the purpose of trying to be God. Trying to sit on the throne. <clears throat> the guy in Russia trying to sit on the throne. The guy in the Philippines want to sit on the throne. The guy in North Korea want to be God. The guy in China probably is God. All the people doing everything you want to do. In America, you got a man who wants to be God. To do what? To destroy you. And God is sitting right here. I'm telling you. All you got to do is look. Ignore. What I mean by ignore? Don't give it power. If they, for instance, imagine, let's give you an example. For some strange reason, he is saying, I don't support this part of the program. You know what part he doesn't support. And now that particular part, even though America is doing man's will and walking anti-God, that support would do so much to help so many people, not all of them, still ungodly, but it would do so much. And he stands there and says, oh, no, I'm not going along with that. And why isn't he going along with that? Dive into the investigation and see why. Really find out why. Because it's a game that he is playing and connected to something else. All of it is a game because that's what man is about. Man doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Doesn't know. But my job is to tell you, to point it out. So what I'm saying to you, yes, education, one of the biggest problems in the nation. Everybody needs to be educated. People get out of school really young, got such ambition, can't do it because they don't have money because the system that has been set up by man has denied them access. And then they got to go through this with a life that's Oh my God! And, uh, look, when I'm, I feel like this, ladies and gentlemen, because I know you can be quick. You can live a day, a such a wonderful day that you can go to bed at night feeling really good, and sleep an adequate number of hours that when you wake up you can feel like you are really rested. And you can get up and you can live knowing that you don't have any worries, no fears, nobody's trying to rob you. Nobody's trying to mock you. Nobody's trying to take advantage of you. Why? Because everybody has a life. It was designed specifically for each of you to have a life and not to let some big head who wants to be God tell you a bunch of lies and pull you away from God. Now, you might say, well, I'm still, you're going to church. You go to church all you want to go to church, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. Don't you stop going to church if it helps you. But as long as there are people out there without food and clothing and shelter and education and health care and access to the other things that God has presented to us as human beings, as long as those people out there exist, your job is incomplete. You got stuff to do. You got business to take care of. And you're not doing it. You're not taking care of business. You're caught up in the man's way. You don't even know God's way. How many of you, I'm telling you, <laughs> let me ask you this. How many of you can tell me or tell yourselves what's God's plan? And God's plan doesn't do anything to hurt anyone. How many of you, I mean, have even given it some thought, who worked it through, who know, and I'm not talking about everybody that died and a judgment comes from who was good and who was bad. 
No, I'm about to talk about that. You are being judged every day. Every day that you exist, you got to die. And your, 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 your reward from your judgment, your, your penalty of whatever you receive, you're experiencing it every day. Now, I want you to know this kind of stuff because they got an election coming up. And they got politicians uh, betting against each other on who can do what and who. One putting this one down, one putting that one down, tricking you. You don't know what to believe. So you just go with this, you, you go with that. Oh, my God. Can't you see what's happening? That's the ball. What they used to call it, 13 balls of confusion. Well, temptation has some called a ball of confusion. And that's all that is, the ball of confusion. You can't get anything right with no junk like that. So get on the one path, the right path, which says this. There's one way, and it works for all. It works for the white man and the black man. It works for the white woman and the black woman. It works for Americans and everybody else. It works for straight people, and it works for Everybody else. God's plan. And how? Because everybody benefits from all that is done. So everybody engaged themselves in the process based upon your career or that thing, that goal that you have that gives you your greatest joy, which is your gift from heaven to say what your contribution is to be here on this earth. And when you put it all together, all of you people in America together creates what's in America. All the people on earth creates all.